Joint Special Common Council Meeting, recorded September 14, 2020. are um, ready to call the common council meeting to order. I've got a couple more people coming in here. So let's do this. Okay, I think everybody's in. Corey, would you be able to as um, acting deputy clerk, actually acting clerk as deputy clerk, would you be able to call the roll for the special common council meeting? Yes, Jennings. Here. Shore. Here. Nabel. Here. Zarazua. She may okay. not be on, she had a death in the family. I'm not sure what her status oh. is. Right. Okay, okay. All right, uh, she, had, she hadn't called, so I, uh, oh, wait, she's coming in now, so let's hold for one second. Okay. Almost there. Alder Zerazu, are you with us? Yes, I am. Thank you. Sorry, the link wasn't working for me, so. Okay. <laughs> Continue on, Corey. Okay, so Makira, we're calling the roll. So uh, Zerazua? Here. <laughs> Sorry. Right. Johnson? Present. Flowinski? Here. Kneebone? Okay. All right. Uh, Leek? Right here. I'm here. Okay. Dalton. Here. Okay. Fischler. Here. And Morrow. Here. Okay, we have 10 present. Um, that is the quorum, so we will continue on. Up for your consideration tonight is the approval of the recommended appointment of the city clerk, that candidate being Carrie Yenter to the unexpired term ending April 30th of 2021. Uh, there was a memo in your packet explaining the process and the members of the interview team. Um, we included Ms. Yenter's, uh, Mrs. Yenter's resume as part of the packet and we would seek your approval on that. Are there any questions? Alder Shore? Thank you, Mayor. Well. Well, I can um, share a few thoughts from having uh, taken part in the process, if that would be helpful to the others. Um, it, it may. Um, I think we'd like, I'd, I'd afford the opportunity for anyone who had questions um, to ask those first, if there are any. Mr. Mayor, this is uh, Alder Johnson, President Johnson. I have no questions, and in fact, I'd like to make a motion to approve Ms. Yunter as the clerk uh, to fill the vacancy. Thank you very much. Do we I, have a second? I would like to second. This is Alder Slowinski. Seconded by Alder Slowinski. Any discussion? Comments or questions from the public? Hearing none, Corey, could we get a roll call vote on that, please? Yes. Jennings. Aye. Shore. Aye. Nabel. Nabel? Cindy, you're on mute. Sorry. Hi. <laughs> Every time. <There> is, uh, <laughs> I'm predictable. <laughs> Johnson. Hi. Oh, you Lewinsky. forgot Sarah Zua. Hi. Nope. You got her. Okay. <laughs> Kneebone. Yep, she, she was excused. Leek. Uh, aye. Dalton. Aye. Fischler. Aye. Morrow. 
Aye. 10 to 0. 10 to 0 that by unanimous consent, uh, Mrs. Yenter is appointed our city clerk. The swearing in ceremony will happen as soon as we can tomorrow morning. Corey will take care of that. Uh, and she will assume the official duties of clerk as soon as possible. Uh, of course, the residency requirement will be met. The next item on the agenda is a benefit conversion for Carrie Enter. Um, this happens occasionally where you have an employee who has been with the city, in this case, a very, very long time and built up a significant benefit package as an employee. Things change when you move into an elected position. Um, and I will turn it over to our HR manager, Lisa Yakush, to talk about what we've done in the past and the recommended proposal for conversion that's before you this evening. Lisa? Thank you, Mayor. Um, so Carrie would be transitioning from an hourly position to an elected position. So for elected employees, we don't track and they don't accrue sick leave or vacation time or compensatory time. You can work as many hours as you darn well please. Um, so I kind of outlined in the memo that was included in the packet um, what had been done in the past for an, another employee who chose a similar um, career path with the city of Stevens Point, um, paying out any comp time that she currently, Carrie currently has accrued as of her last day as an hourly employee, as well as paying out any vacation accrued as of um, the end of the day today. We would then freeze her current sick leave benefit um, and then when she retires from her employment and meets the ret retirement criteria also included in the email, then she would be eligible to roll her unused sick leave into a post-employment health plan or PHP to pay health insurance premiums post-retirement. Again, this had been done for a prior um, employee who followed a similar career path and I would very much recommend um, permitting this for Carrie Yenter as well. Any questions I'd be happy to address. Any questions for the human resources manager? Hang on one second, Mary. I'm gonna put you on speakerphone. Older person Kneebone is joining yeah. us via speakerphone. <clears throat> so if the uh, minutes could reflect that she is now present. And then as soon as we get done with this meeting, I will try and walk her through getting connected in a more uh, conventional manner. Alderperson Kneebone, you are now with us. We um, are considering the benefits conversion package for our newly appointed clerk, Carrie Enter. Okay, thanks. Uh, Alder I'll move, Shore. I'll move approval of the recommended uh, benefit conversion. Thank you, do we have a second? I second it, I'll Alder Morrow. Seconded by Alderperson Morrow. Any discussion there? I just, I have a question. Alder Zarazua, by all means. I'm just wondering, so, um, and I have, I have no issue with this, but just wondering, if, do we need a official like stance as a city moving forward if this is something we're going to do just to make sure it's fair in the future if anyone else comes forward and maybe Lisa isn't here with her institutional memory or something? <laughs> <laughs> um, well, this happens very rarely. The time prior to this that this occurred was before I was a City of Stevens Point employee. So I'm sure that, you know, others who are here now, um, you know, would have recollection back. I always am cautious about tying the hands of um, future city councils because we don't know what our benefits may evolve to um, at some point in the future. Um, so that would be my only my only hesitation there, Alder Zerzua. Okay, sounds good. Thank you. Yeah, and sure. I, I concur. I think that this happens so infrequently. Um, I do remember the last time that we had to do this, but it was uh, a, quite a while ago, and I wasn't part of the city at that time even. The um, right, as Lisa said, the benefits can change over time and evolve. So I think it's best that we we document the process, and it is an official mm -hmm. record. Uh, what we did this time and what we did even the time before. So that would go carrying forward when and if this happens again. Okay, any other questions? Hearing none, Corey, could you call the roll one more time, please? Sure. Morrow. Aye. Fischler. Aye. Stelton. Aye. 
Leak. Aye. Kneebone. Aye. Flowinski. Aye. Johnson. Aye. Zarazua. Aye. Nabel. Still on mute. Six months we've been doing this. I know it, but why? I don't understand. Anyway, um, aye. Shore. Aye. Jennings. Aye. 11 to 0. 11 to 0 unanimously passes. Our agenda is exhausted, and we will adjourn to public policy and general government. This meeting is available for viewing on the city's website, stevenspoint.com slash videos.